Hey friends, welcome to Xcrypt.info. My name is Rizwan Khan. I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel. And today in this video, we are going to work on how we can upload images over Amazon S3. So S3 is one of the AWS product and uh, that S3 we can use as a storage and we can save our images. And this is free for complete one years and after that it is chargeable. But uh, for the account creation process, you have to include your payment card information but do not worry it is not going to charge you anything but you have to include all of your payment information otherwise you cannot create your account in aws right so i have already created the account that's why i have i took this screenshot and you can see over here this is required right so you have to include uh, your uh, card information like this and then you can continue and you can create the account okay so i'm going to sign in first so as a as a root user and let's enter your email address whatever it is for me it is my email address i'll do next now let's uh, give a password right and we are in the product right we are in the dashboard of aws so this the you can see the first section aws services and recently visited services. So I have recently visited all these sections like uh, S3, uh, S3 is the product, right? Uh, we are going to use this S3 to store our images. And these two things I also visited and right now these two are not related to uh, this video, okay? And there are a couple of other products you can explore. And once you're done with the account creation and you are not seeing this S3 or anything, you can simply search over here like Amazon s3 then you're gonna come up with this s3 right so this uh, you you have to create a bucket click on this uh, bucket right and or you can also click on that s3 you have just seen right and here we are so i have created a bucket flip uh, flip card clone so I can delete this bucket, it's not an issue. So I will recreate it. And I have to delete, I have to type uh, uh, name of the bucket. Now I delete this bucket. And the bucket uh, deleted, right? Now let's create a new bucket. So this is our storage, right? Now give it a name. So we'll say Flipkart hyphen clone hyphen app now let's choose a reason so whatever uh, reason you want to choose you can choose so i'm gonna choose something which is related to me and uh, here we have mumbai right asia pacific mumbai and uh, let's uh, choose a bucket oh that's it and let's uncheck this option because uh, it is going to block all the public access if it is checked so I will uncheck because I want to make your uh, make uh, our images available publicly so we can use this uh, in other application, uh, for example, e-commerce application or anything, right? So here I'm going to do uncheck and let's acknowledge this. And now let's, uh, let's leave all other settings as it is. Let's do the create bucket. And here, here you can see the uh, Flipkart clone app and the bucket is already created. Now we to manage this, uh, we are using Node.js and Express Server. And uh, um, I have a project where I'm gonna use this. So let me open that project. So this is our project Mon backend and here we are going to use AWS S3 to store our images, right? So initially we are using a, a Multer library to store our images in the current system, whatever we are using, right? But we don't want to use our current system, uh, current system for the image storing purpose, right? Because we are using this application on the Heroku server and Heroku uh, doesn't allow to save and write the system. So that's why I'm, I have, I'm planning to use that uh, S3 bucket and here we have this uh, here we have created a middleware that's an upload and we are using multer to save our images in the current system so instead of using upload uh, i'm going to uh, i'm going to create one more middleware uh, so we can save our images with the help of multer right so we have to install uh, two libraries for that so let's install the library 
uh, the required library is npm install hyphen hyphen save and it is uh, multer hyphen s3 so multer uh, also pro provides support for s3 amazon s3 bucket uh, we can uh, use this s3 to save our images directly in the uh, s3 bucket without any problem next also it is required uh, we need to add a aws sdk right that's the kind of very important thing uh, aws sdk and then let's hit enter and it is going to install uh, all these uh, all these two packages So here we have a controller and uh, here we have product.js and uh, in the product.js you can see this is create product and uh, so this is a controller create product and uh, I have a request.file so basically I'm uh, having all the files in my request payload and I'm saving uh, the path of the file uh, in the server so you can see the product pictures over here right and I'm using a middleware uh, in the routes you can see a uh, product or chase and here we are uh, here we are using that middleware right so this is the API uh, create product create and uh, this is the API and here we are using this upload dot array so this is a multer how we are using it so here instead of using this upload uh, middleware I'm gonna create a new middleware and that we are going to use to store our images okay so I'll simply say export dot aws aws3 and this is our a new right multer and okay so what we have to do uh, first let's uh, navigate to the documentation for the clarity and here we'll say npm js and here we'll say multer hyphen s3 Okay, so this is the uh, uh, this is the configuration that needs to be that that require okay so this is the configuration that requires to upload right so I'm simply let's copy this copy and let's paste over here okay so here uh, upload instead of upload I'm gonna say export so we can use outside as a middleware and here we'll so, uh, Push fix with uh, S3 and here multer. Now we have to import this multer S3, right? So let's import that const multer S3 require multer. Oh, is it a uh, package? Oh man. So instead of uh, installing these two library in our Mern backend, I have installed outside uh, out of the folder, out of the project folder. So basically, I'm gonna delete these things. Now let's delete this one too. Okay, now let's navigate to the project uh, minus take Mern hyphen backend ls and yeah. So here we'll do npm install hyphen save multer hyphen s3 and uh, next we're gonna use aws hyphen sdk yeah it is installed a uh, multer s3 and sdk let's go to the mon backend uh, package.json and here you can see the multer s3 is available as well as aws sdk is available now let's go to the index and multer s3 is fine over here s3 we need to create uh, s3 first uh, uh, we need to create s3 object s3 equals to new and here we'll say uh, okay we need to import uh, aws const aws equals to require and aws hyphen sdk and here we'll say aws dot s3 and it requires credential, right? So credential required a secret uh, access key ID and uh, sorry, 
access key ID and one secret key that we are going to get from the the uh, from the MS3 website right from the AWS so access key ID and secret access key is required and here let's add uh, something so this is our access key ID and uh, this is our access key secret key and how, how can you get your uh, access key ID and secret access key mm, here you can go to the AWS and here you can click on this uh, your profile and then my security credential okay and just let it navigate here you have to give a bucket name name of your bucket so my bucket name is flipkart hyphen clone hyphen app also you have to give uh, access like uh, is it going to be a public or private so ACL is required Okay, you don't know ACL let me so show you so this library is gonna give you all the configuration information and or whatever the property uh, that that's required so here basically you can see uh, there are a couple of properties and ACL is one of them ACL gives you the access control so ACL is going to be a public right and you can see how we can add ACL uh, ACL where is it ACL public public read let's copy this one and paste over here so ACL is going to be public read so it will be available publicly and our upload s3 middleware is ready now we can upload our images to the ML AWS okay uh, okay but also you can go and uh, here you can click on this access keys and uh, I have already created a key so you can create just by simply clicking on this uh, create a new access key so you can click on this create new access key and it is going to show you here click on show access key and you can see your new access key so you can simply uh, do something copy and paste over here now ac secret access key let's copy and paste over here let's save this now uh, uh, we have saved our access key ID and secret access key okay now our upload s3 is ready let's go to the controller and product.chase and I'm gonna try it here so I will simply say here I'm going to return the product like whatever I have just saved so with that I will also return a file uh, here we'll say file uh, files request dot files so this is like a multi right so i will i'm going to get all of my files in the request request dot files now let's save this also we need to specify the uh, how our path is going to look for the image so here it is given for the date so instead of date i'm gonna remove it and we have used uh, this uh, before also so here i'm gonna uh, copy this uh, short id generate file file dot original name so here we'll paste simply uh, short ID dot generate and hyphen file dot original name so it is going to give us a um, dynamic ID uh, with a file name and this is going to be our public URL so we can fetch our images now let's save this and uh, also let's go to the admin app and source URL config and yeah fine so make sure your base URL is localhost 2000 so this is our API localhost 2000 which we are let's click on this add and product name so I'll say Samsung whatever it is quantity 100 price 10,000 description NA select category uh, Samsung let's inspect so we can see how the request and how the response will look choose a file and here I'm gonna choose a front face of, of a phone and then back face of a phone right now let's say uh, save and you can see the request got completed create and here we have got a response preview and let's see product we have got uh, only the product okay it should come with the uh, we have got the product pictures uh, let's see the request 2000 api preview product.chase and 
files, request dot files. Oh, uh, we haven't used it. Uh, we have created a middleware, but we haven't used it. So let's go to the routes and uh, let's go to the product dot chase. And here we are. So instead of upload, uh, we are going to import that middleware first. Okay, uh, where is our middleware? So here I'm gonna import a middleware that's upload S3. And instead of using upload, I will use upload S3, save, okay. Load S3 save. Now let's go and let's refresh it. Now let's delete whatever we have just added. Add. Okay, quantity 10, price 100. Uh, sorry, price should be like 10,000. And description NA category. Uh, let's say Samsung and also one more thing a package dot JSON right so here we have node we have to run uh, this once again because uh, we are not using node mon we are using node we have to uh, tell our server uh, code got, has been changed. Okay, so we'll quit this. Let's restart. Okay, it's got restarted. Let's choose uh, Samsung is fine. Let's choose the front face. Let's choose the back face. Now let's say save and uh, we have got a successful request 201 and here you can see we have got our files you can open the file and you can see uh, where is the file so here we have our path location right so location is the complete one so you can just simply copy this location and you can paste somewhere and you can see the image you have got an image you open that image and this is our image here yeah, it's worked right so it worked and it is working so what we can do we can go to the product controller and we instead of saving just our uh, file dot file name we are going to save file dot location so what is it uh, here we are going to save this file dot location location img of file uh, dot location okay let's save this and so here is our bucket of flipkart clone app and let's go inside it and you can see uh, we have uploaded four images right you can click on these images one of them and you can simply go and check over here like uh, uh, here it is click on this object url and this is going to be downloaded directly and you can open this image and you can see it is coming right so you are able to upload your images in the aws s3 and it is working fine and uh, so here we have got a uh, object url so this is our object url so basically this url with the help of this url uh, we can fetch the images also we can save this url in our database so we can access this uh, images whatever we have saved in s3 right so with with the help of this s3 we don't we don't need to save our images in the database or in our in the system right so guys thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe have a nice day bye bye